What is going on guys? This is your main man Ben here and today we got another mic comparison because uh, we have reviewed both of this mic in the past but the main difference is the AT875R hasn't been tested and reviewed inside the booth that we have so we just had a couple of improvements in our studio with the changes of at least a little bit more robust environment to record voiceover works, um, um, dubbing, um, rapping, occasional singing, and all that fun stuff that involves voice recording. So today we're going to talk about the AT875R, which is under Audio Technica. Sorry about that. Audio Technica and the LCT440 Pure from Lewitt. So both of these microphones are amazing. They are my personal, personal collection microphones that I paid for for myself, by myself. So this is no means of any promotions on a company and all that stuff. But I like these microphones. That's why I got them. Let's just put that out there. But this guy right here, the AT875R, is one of my oldest microphone. And I think it's three or four years old now. And I really do like the AT875R just because of its purpose. So aside from us doing voiceover work and some rapping, um, I have a little background for videography and photography. That's the main reason why I bought the shotgun microphone. So if you've seen some of my reviews, laptop reviews and other products not involving a big form of microphone, Everything is recorded under this guy right here, the AT875R. However, with us evolving on voiceover work and some narrations and other stuff, um, I learned to use bigger microphones, which I have a lot in the past that I have sold. But recently I tested the Rode NT1 and I must say, the best overall, I must say, contemporary and all-arounder is this guy right here. The Lewitt LCT440 Pure is in a different realm. I mean, I love my NT1. I still have them. But once again, every microphone has a different frequency. They're just designed like that. So, for example, when I say, what do you mean by that? They're all microphones. I mean, in contrary, yeah, they are microphones. But they are definitely uh, designed like this guy right here got a one inch condenser microphone with like a true one inch capsule inside with like, you know, big magnets that absorbs frequencies. But this guy right here is a lot more specialized because it's more designed on like um, one line, I must say like a straight line, like a satellite uh, a GPS connection that only gets the frequency in one line and has a terrific rejection capability in the sides. So this is how it sounds like on a shotgun microphone. That's why you see in a movie's um, environment or, you know, telenovelas or whatever, you see that uh, a man that's holding a pole with like a headphones like this and a device that is hooked up to it like a recorder exact, exactly like this and that follows the subject sorry about that there's some call but um sorry call but that is how it works for sound uh people they have to carry that pole with a boom arm and some kind of maybe some kind of balloon or that deflects the air that's how they use this specifically on production environment like movies or anything that involves with videography because you don't have to have the big you know capsule in front of you that is too sensitive when you start recording like voiceover or raps and and you know it's so big like it's super sensitive um it absorbs and takes all those minute frequencies and and it records that so overall that could be a good thing but also they could be a bad thing you know you know that thing when you move your your lips and your tongue like that 
it absorbs that. So that could be unpleasant and not, you know, uh, pleasing for your customers or, you know, some techniques and all that stuff. It involves a lot more than that. But I, I'm just telling you the difference between this guy and this guy and how sensitive they are. So by the way, specifications for the AT875 are fixed charge backplate, permanently polarized condenser microphone. It's line plus gradient with 90 to 20,000 hertz, negative 30 dB in a 127 dB SPL with one kilohertz at 1%. Now, the Lewitt LCT440 has a condenser externally polarized, pressure gradient transducer, 3 micron gold sputtered mylar cardioid pattern, self noise of 7 dB, a max SPL of 140 dB SPL, a signal noise ratio of 87 dBA, and indeed it is 1 inch, true 1 inch condenser microphone. Other than that, guys, um, let's go to the test and uh, we'll see how you like to take it as, you know, your future prospects for work, you know, voiceover, paid gig and all that stuff. But let's check this real quick. Check. Wala nang intro intro ba natin na agad dito Nick Sa wabot mo sa akin pluma pakita natin ba ang sulat Tulog na may bing, mga dating praning Ngayon nagising ka kayo kong kabalahin sa liriko ang papatikim Huwag ako sisingin kung bakit may balik sulat Laro ng salita ngayon na ako'y magkakalat Ako'y isang mga ngasuhan na pantawid Gutong bubuga ang linya tiyak ni Kyle Bibiak Isa kong DDS parang tabla sa kisa May gagawin pa na kikutas pagkasa nito iiyak Pedro na lalba ba? Sex o sabahada? Sabi ito laking bento, lo'y biyahing tala Maraming nagtangkang tabigin pero nandito pa rin Magkakasubukan tayo ngayon, hindi kita pahihayain Baguhan sa pagsulat pero veterano na sa laro Di peke puro forma, walang respeto sa asawa Tulad ng basura, dos, siete, tres Nilagdaan ko'y burto-burto, nakapila, titira na to Huwag kang magpabaya, sa katayuan mo'y mga matmis na bati Tila lasong kakatay sa'yo Kunin natin lahat na gamoy kailangan pa unlakan Kultura ay patas walang bago luma Kahit praning ka pa, aning pantay paningin basta Tuloy lang ang dura So overall guys, in my own opinion This two have different strengths and weaknesses um, In terms for rapping and overall voiceover capability Depending on your recording environment This guy right here is in different realm I mean, it's not that it's it's the first time that I have used this microphone, but what it can give you, what it can deliver you is, I would say, an overall best contemporary microphone, condenser microphone, in my honest opinion, is this guy. You can use it for voiceover, rapping, or whatever. But if you focus on voiceover work and some video production that content creation that involves videography, this is the guy right here. And it's highly capable of doing videography work. And you'll be amazed on the results that you can get with a shotgun microphone. That being said, I hope it was helpful enough with the decisions and all that stuff that's going to be on you now since I own both. So, you know, I'm set. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching this show, boy. Always remember, God is good all the time. Peace out.